Hey, uh, so we're at the tent again. Um, it's uh, July 27th, right? Wet ride in. Really wet. My partner's going to tell you about it. I was freezing cold and soaked, and it felt longer than it normally is. It literally rained from Fairbanks all the way to where we got the boat in the water. There was like an inch and a half of mud, inch mud at the landing. And then it rained the entire, we were a little bit overloaded, so it took us close to two hours to get here. So, um, anyways, rained the entire time. Got here, got in the channel, no problem, right? Mm -hmm. Got in the channel, no problem. Dog was crazy wet and shivering, but it's funny, when we turned the corner to get in our channel, he uh, got up and stiffed his nose and, and started sniffing the air like he knew he knew the area. So that, that was pretty neat to watch. Had a little wildlife. We seen a cow, moose on the way in, dead porcupine, some birds, magpies on the side of the road. I think that was it, right? No, no anything else, right? All right, so we're going to, uh, it's 8 o'clock, about 8.20, we're going to make some dinner. And uh, got the dog fed, and we're attempting to dry things out. It is nuclear hot inside the tent, and it's like uh, 48 degrees, 52 degrees outside. So, anyways, thanks for coming along. Big plans tomorrow. We'll let you in on what they are. We'll talk to you soon. And as usual, see you on the river. I think I was uh, oh, she's napping not when the dead porcupine. Nah, I'm sure you were. I'm sure you were. Yeah. Well, anyways, no photos of that one. Pretty uneventful, uh, flat, and porky Lee. So, anyways, we'll see you on the river. With each step of progress at the cabin, we like to treat ourselves after we've accomplished something. This one was no different. We bought a really, really nice grill with the hopes that we can host many, many big meals up there with lots of family and friends around. And sometimes things are just better when you're cooking around a grill. When we're at the cabin, it's no different than when we're at home and there's always chores to take care of. The steps are Killian's and just so nobody has to deal with this painfully glacier type slow speed, I'll speed it up for you. I promised everybody we'd get a stove in there on top of something other than the wood stove, so this was the next step. We took a propane stove that we had purchased a couple years before and now finally ran the copper for it. After a couple screw ups, we got her going. And now this next winter is going to be filled with frozen pizzas and tater tots. Nothing's finished till you get everything done, including the outside. So on to the next portion of this. We're feeling quite bougie at this point. Although I screwed up a couple of my joints, we got her going. And in the end, yep, you guessed it, had a frozen pizza. The next step was to teach my little how to use the table saw. We had to make some materials so we could trim out our banister pieces that, made, that were made for us. And in the end, it looked pretty good. I'm glad she was able to help me with it.
What are you doing, Tiny? Painting a nightstand. Well, no more hello from the tent. It's officially hello from the cabin. We've moved in. We have uh, Killian's bed up top. Got her bed made. We're still uh, no mattress. We got air mattress and sleeping bags. Special guest star Dugan here. Our days have been very, very busy. We uh, doing a lot of cleanup around here. I don't like this place looking like trash. And so that's kind of what we did. We built Killian a nightstand. Mm-hmm out of a beautiful log we sanded it down and lacquered it up so that's her nightstand so she can put her water bottle and retainer and that kind of stuff we still got to deal with some natural things up here what else Kelly? Mm. just burning and cutting wood and had some guests over had some nice copper river reds for dinner last night wind is going it rained just we're like wet dogs the first day we got here so got log book to fill out today and tomorrow's leaving day so boat will be full of trash and yuck and stuff like that that we don't need and um, other than that it doesn't suck to be the Harveys does it Nope. hope everybody that sees this takes time does something with their family goes out and enjoys uh, teaches someone little something cool uh, teach them something uncool, but just it doesn't matter. Just teach them to get out and, and enjoy it and, and have a good time together. Anyways, as usual, we will see you on the river. Rise and shine, Valentine. It's time to be waking up, Killian. Killian. Wake up! Wakey, wakey. Quakey. How's the view from up here? Not bad. One of the biggest things I learned about building this cabin is that it doesn't matter what you do to the inside. Really about the only thing that matters are your personal touches that you bring to the table. I think we've done that really well here. There's lots more to come. And as usual, the final look through and then naturally the family photo. This time we took it up in the loft because that was the one thing that we completed this trip. Nice little shot where the eagles are at, and we are on our way home. The good, the bad, and the ugly at traveling in Alaska. Sometimes shit just breaks. I think that was the only minor inconvenience we had on the whole trip. And then we made it home only to find these nice twins in the backyard. Man, I love Alaska. And of course, while the moose were in the front yard, we had this guy back at the cabin. He sure waited for us to leave. Kind of irritating. Wish I could have seen him. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the river.